50,000 likes, I'll take all of these items and I'll try and survive in the middle of the forest for 24 hours. Look how tiny this is. Damn, son, that did work. Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy and welcome back to another video. We are looking like week three in quarantine and I figured why not do something that really fit the times. You know, everybody's worried about a potential apocalypse coming in right like at any second. Well, maybe we are in an apocalypse at this point. It certainly feels like it. So we went on Wish and bought all the apocalypse related items we could find. Let's take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to check out Wish and see what kind of survival gear we can find on here for personal prep, depending on what comes, as well as just curiosity. I want to know what's the quality level of survival gear on Wish. To be honest, I can't really compare because I've never used survival gear ever in my life, but uh, with desperate times come desperate measures and I feel like this is, it's getting pretty dire out here, folks. So uh, we're gonna see what we can find. So let's type in survival gear. Okay, a mask might be pretty essential. I have a few here though, so I'm not gonna get that. A sleeping bag, you gotta need, you need somewhere to sleep. You might not always have a nice cozy bed to sleep in. You might end up like this guy, just in the middle of a field or in your car or something like that. It's that small, what? Okay, it's an outdoor survival bag that you can even turn it into a tent. That's pretty lit. Let's add that for six bucks, why not? Okay, what else? A fire starter, major key. Okay, it's got a whistle, survive. survive. It's written very large. Magnesium rod, bottle opener, small ruler, metal teeth for a hassle-free ignition. Four and a half stars, eight, thousand reviews for three bucks. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? All right, what else do we have here? A camping mosquito net hammock. I don't know if I would use it in the same way these guys are. Could be useful nonetheless. You know, 90 days you've been out in the wilderness. Pop one of these bad boys out, could be a vibe. Uh, let's grab this. We'll get it in camo. Okay, what else? A shovel. Who knows when you'll need a shovel, am I right? What are you doing? Bearing you. At any moment, a shovel could be required. Again, great reviews. Maybe this is what Wish was built for, survival gear. Who knows? Okay, this looks pretty good. 13 bucks, ton of reviews. 2019 new emergency survival kit. 12 in one, yes sir. Maybe a trekking pole as well. Even has a selfie stick. I mean, come on. How could you say no to that? It does only have 25 reviews, but still. A survival card. Oh, what? It's got like a little spear you can put on the end of a stick and stuff. That's pretty cool for 483. Why not, right? Why not? All right, I am gonna order a bunch of stuff because I, given the times, I feel like a few items, they might not show up. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna get a whole bunch and a few I'm sure will not arrive. We got an ax here. Wanna do some wood chopping? Cool black. Yes, sir. Okay, now this is uh, very interesting. It does have four and a half stars with almost 5,000 reviews, but it's uh, for, our, for uh, you guys know what it is. I'ma just, I'ma get it. Cause I need to know, you know? I just, I need to know what's going on with this. Okay, we've got a multi-function practical pocket knife kit. Bottle opener, safety lock, screw drover. Screw drover bot adapter. Always need the screw drovers. Let's get that. 16 bucks, come on. Okay, we've got a paracord over landskit. 5001. Now, last time we were faced with a language uh, that was clearly not English. I said it was German. I got butchered and apparently it was Dutch. I don't know which one this is, but it's probably one of those two again. You know what? It probably isn't. Knowing me, comment down below if you know, because I'm sure you guys will regardless. $37 for a 29 in one kit. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. And a five in one camping utensil cutlery, stainless steel camping, four knife, spoon bottle opener set. Yeah, sure. Let's just, let's just do it. I'm not, I'm not really thinking too much about it. Great reviews again. Okay, so we've got a bunch of items. I'm gonna look through, maybe I'll find a couple more and we'll add those to our cart. And when they all get in, we'll check them out and see if they're any good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to interrupt our regular unboxing because, well, I'm at home and uh, I'm bored because I've been doing the same thing at home for the for God knows how long at this point, three weeks, four weeks. I Feels like six years, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate, but I'm curious, what is the one thing that has been keeping you guys going during this entire uh, time? For me, it's been playing video games. John, can you clean the floors downstairs? Yeah, 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 I can't. Oh, I can. Yeah, I got it. 
As you guys can see, I don't actually have to do any of the cleaning anymore because I have a Robo Rock. This vacuum cleans automatically using intelligent navigation to map your house and clean it methodically and efficiently. Using the map saving mode, you can name the different rooms on the map, example, bedroom, kitchen, living room, etc., and you can easily determine where the robots are going to clean. All right, floors are clean downstairs thanks to the Robo Rock. Yeah. I can do that too. The Robo Rock has two additional special modes for carpet cleaning and mopping. It will automatically recognize carpet and reach maximum suction power to clean it and can use different water levels to appropriately mop other areas of the house. And don't worry about the Robo Rock mopping in the wrong areas. Label areas like carpet as a no mop zone or no go zones and the Robo Rock will avoid these areas. You can also set times as to when you want the Robo Rock to start cleaning. So for example, let's say you're leaving the house to go to the gym for an hour. Well, by the time you get home, guess what? What? Two birds, one stone. Not only did you get a nice pump in, but you got your house cleaned at the same time. Pretty big vibe. And if you have multiple floors or stairs in your house, don't worry, the Robo Rock will not fall down the stairs and break into little bitty pieces because it's got fall protection and collision avoidance thanks to the sensors. And it's super sturdy, so even if it did fall, which it won't, it wouldn't break into pieces. So if you dread cleaning as much as I do and you avoid it at every opportunity and then it just gets worse and worse and worse and the house gets really, really dirty and your girlfriend wants to kill you, that's probably too much information. But essentially, if you're if you're in a similar boat, then the Robo Rock is a great option for you to do some autonomous, no work cleaning around the house. So if you guys wanna get your very own Robo Rock, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. All right, so you guys saw us order our items and most of them have now arrived. We did get a few refunds, understandably so, considering everything that's going on. So not all of the items from the purchasing portion of the video will be here, but we did get quite a few, surprisingly. I was worried stuff wouldn't come in, but it's still arriving. So thank God for that, because otherwise this channel would just crumble like the entire world is right now. That was kind of dark. I wasn't not intentional. <laughs> all right, let's check out the item. You know, this is the one time that our giant unboxing knife actually fits the products that we're opening, because this is also a bit of a little survival vibe. It's got um, a compass. I think you could also put something in this little container if you wanted to. And you can put your weed in there. But I obviously have no real use for it at this time. Unless zombies start bursting through the doors, I'm really hoping it doesn't get to that level, but that brings me to a little question I have for you guys. How are you feeling about this? It's been quite a while that this has been going on now, and I feel like when it all started, everybody was like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. And then it's progressively gotten more and more intense to the point where it seems like it's getting pretty scary. So I wanna know how you guys feel. Are you not too worried about it still? Are you really worried? Do you think the end is near? Like, where are you guys at? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're not taking it seriously though, please do, because this is serious no matter what anybody says. But with that being said, I am clearly taking it fairly seriously as I'm prepping for an apocalypse. So what do we have here? This is our first item, a self-driving outdoor shovel. What? How is it self-driving? What is this, the Tesla of shovels? We don't have an overhead camera. Times are tough, okay? But let's take a look. What do we have? So this is the base, I guess. Comes in a compact design. Where's the actual head of the shovel? Does it not come with a head? That's what she said. Don't you dare. Am I missing something here? What's going on? What's going on? There's nothing else in this. Okay. Wow. Well, that's uh, pretty interesting. Is there something else in here? Oh, we got a screwdriver. My G, this is tripping me out. It really appears that we're missing a few items. Not sure where they are, but uh, let's, let's try and put this together as best as we can. At the very least, you got a pretty dope walking stick, you know? Okay, so this is what the shovel would be if we had a shovel. Can we attach any of these pieces? You know, I'm really left with a lot of questions right now. Okay, we got our first one, which is a knife. Seems like we have two knives, one with a bottle opener hooked onto it. This is sharp though. It's kind of like I might hurt myself. All right, so you're out in the wilderness because you can't stay in any major cities during an apocalypse. Well, depends what type of apocalypse, but either way, let's just pretend you're out hunting for something. You got yourself a nice little spear. Will it juke the box? Oh, uh, not only did it juke the box, it went all the way through into my table. Little more damage than expected, but damn, son. That did work. This is kind of a vibes little spear. Except I just lost the, the blade. I like it. It would be really great if it came with all the pieces it said it was supposed to come with, but you uh, put this on and now you have a little serrated blade on one side, a uh, blade on the other, and it's the apocalypse. So what else are you gonna do? Have some beers, of course. And uh, in order to have the beers, you need a bottle opener. I don't have any beers here right now, but I'm sure it would work. It's not really that complex. This might be the real deal beer right here. Oh shit. This is not a shovel. This is just a weapon at this point. So this is what you get. 
I mean, I don't know what's better necessarily. Both options work, but still pretty cool. Probably shouldn't be playing with this. And as you can tell by my moves, I'm dying in the apocalypse very, very early on. But how am I feeling about this item? Uh, pretty, pretty disappointed. It appears we only have a few of the items that were supposed to come with it. But hey, when life gives you lemons, you just, you cry. That's what I do at least. Okay, next item. It looks like a, oh, I think this, is this a tent? Sleeping bag? Something. If this is a tent, that's crazy. Oh, is this a hammock? I have no idea. This is one of those things that you really would normally want to have instructions with as well. But yeah, uh, pretty sure this is like a hammock vibe. You can see on either side. I'll, I'll uh, try and set it up. I don't know where, but I'll find something. Okay, so this isn't ideal because, well, it's freezing cold outside, so I'm not going into a forest to actually set this up. It'll give you guys an idea as to what this would actually look like in terms of a hammock because this is the only area in the office that we have two solid fixed points that I can attach it to. But basically, you would hop in here, and it's pretty lit. I mean, I'm not gonna hop in it right now because... I just don't think it would really hold. We'll just review it and we'll see how I'm feeling after. But the major key that I'm seeing here is this net. So it's got a nice bug net. Basically you would open it up, you could hop inside and be protected from bugs all night long, which is probably the number one worst part about camping, even if it wasn't a survival apocalypse type situation. Just like camping in general, I hate the bugs. Anyways, I digress. But that is a major key. It is kind of thin and flimsy feeling, so I don't know how confident I am in it but it's got the pouch that it actually all fits in right on the side too so you can put a few items in here while you're sleeping and it was relatively easy to set up I've got an idea I have a climbing mat here that I use I'm gonna put that underneath so if I fall on my ass I don't hurt myself too much yeah no it's not it's not uh, properly set up this is the only section of the rock climbing wall that hasn't been finished um, so it's a uh, yeah, it's probably not the best thing to attach to and so yeah, I'm not it's uh, it's not ready to use But it would work if you set it up on two trees that happen to be in the right, you know Distance apart from each other. It, it would you would probably do the trick, you know, okay Let's go back and continue the unboxing next item. What do we have? Okay, this is uh-huh, major key, major key, a nice little Swiss army knife. This might replace our, cause this is a little extreme. This is probably a better unboxing knife. We got a whole bunch of different accessories on this bad boy. I don't really know what half of these are. Most important thing, gotta check the blade. Not bad. Could definitely be used for some unboxings, but outside of that, not entirely sure. I mean, the one thing I like the best is it's just all black. It looks like Batman's Swiss Army knife, which is kind of a vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's an essential thing. You definitely would want to have a Swiss Army knife. It has like four or five different tools that I can see off the top. And to be honest, I'm not Bear Gorilla, so I don't know what you would actually need. I've never been on Naked and Afraid, and I don't plan on going on it anytime soon because I am, I'm a city boy. Let's be real here, and I don't know, I would die. No chances, but it looks good and I would I would die looking good. That's really the main thing that I'm looking for. Anyways, next item. Okay, what is this? A 29 in one paracord kit. That's a lot in one. Okay, we got a paper clip, Jad's H, safety pins, needle, knife, fire starter, weights, swivels, fishing hooks. That's all in here? How? But let's take a look at all of the items we have inside. It does have everything it says on the inside here. All right, let's take a look. What's this? Cotton. Oh, major key right here. Trashy girl earrings. Just kidding. It was, it was a joke. It's a, a, oh my God. A wire saw? What the f That's intense. Does it actually work? Yo, I've never used one of these before. This is some zombie vibes. Pull up behind a zombie. Peace. You know what I mean? We've got our wire saw. Typically we would need like a, a stick that we would bend and then turn this into a saw, but we're missing some resources. So what you would normally do is get uh, like a stick, a decently thick one, you would put it on either end, it would bend it, kind of like a bow, and then uh, you would have yourself a little handsaw that you could use. Uh, it does feel sharp enough that you could probably cut through something. This is obviously not an efficient way of doing it, but it's cutting through this cardboard pretty good, as you can see. So it's sharp enough that if you had a stick, it would definitely work. Uh, I'll try and show you guys a picture of what it would look like on a stick so you get an idea or a video of it being used like that. But that's pretty handy. What else do we have in here? Alcohol pad, major key if you get hurt, very likely. It's a flash, is it a flashlight? 
I don't know, fishing line stuff. A couple, oh my God. A couple band-aids that look like they were used in World War I. Oh, a little blade, a tool card. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you got a variety of different tools here you can use I'm all in a miniature business card format and a whistle. Let's see if this works. Whistle works. All right, cool. Uh, and then some paper clips, some safety pins, and a fire starter. Am I going to try and start a fire now? No, not not gonna do it. But we got quite a few little items. That one was very small, and I would say very useful. A lot of useful things in that package. Okay, this came in a very similar package to our shovel. Oh. Oh, maybe it came together in two different things. This is a multifunctional shovel. Does it come with a shovel? Maybe it was all one package. Oh, that would make more sense. Well, like not all one package, but they sent it in two different packages. Or is this the same thing? Did I just get two of the same thing? Oh, there we go. There's our shovel. Yeah, it appears that this just came in two packages, but whoa. Okay, that's pretty heavy duty. Pretty legit, heavy duty, solid feeling shovel here. I think you'd be able to you know, put in some work, dig whatever it is you need to dig. Oh, we also got a little, um, like a glass breaker on the back here. So you could just hit, hit some glass and it would shatter pretty easily. Oh, this is where you could put your screw in and then you've got your screwdriver, a compass on the bottom. Wait, do these go together? Okay, these are separate. Maybe they're made by the same people and these are just two, this one's like a pole, an all-purpose pole and this one's an all-purpose shovel. But for some reason, both of them said all-purpose shovel. I'm very confused, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like we just have ourselves a nice little mini shovel. Would have been nice for it to be a bit larger, I guess. There's your shovel, relatively solid and sturdy, but this, the, which is more like the walking stick spear vibe, has way more attachments. Yeah, I'm, I'm slightly confused. I obviously ordered this stuff quite a while ago, so I don't actually remember what I ordered anymore. I should probably check. Either way, I'm pretty stoked about some of these because you know, shit is getting kind of crazy in the world right now. And if somehow this took the next step and turned into a zombie apocalypse, I'm slightly more prepared here at the office. But with that being said, we still have a few more items. So let's see what's next. All right, now our last few items are a grouping of interesting smaller sized items. So first, fortunately, this isn't something I would have to use. I don't know if anyone would really want to use this, but we did see it on the website. And I have heard from women multiple times that it's, it's frustrating how easy it is for men to go to the bathroom when out in the wild. And apparently this is a tool to help with that. Now, not being a female, I don't know if this is something anyone would actually use. So if you're a girl and you're watching this, what do you think? I, I feel like this is kind of weird and I don't know if it would actually be beneficial to use or worth the time, but you let me know. Okay, next item. We have here a portable fire starting kit. So as you guys can see here, we've got the ruler with the, uh, it's like the teeth on the front here and you'd strike this. Oh, there you go. So you get a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically you could strike this over and over again. If you got a nice little bit of kindling, potentially make yourself a fire. You would use that, start a fire, cook some food, and be a caveman, discovering fire for the first time. Oh, and there's one other piece missing, which is a whistle. Whew, those are loud, and I don't know if I should be putting my mouth on them. Next item. We got a spork fork, spoon fork, spork. Well, not quite a spork. I guess a spork is when it's the same on both sides, but one side, you've got yourself a spoon, flip her around, another bottle opener, because everything seems to have a bottle opener, and a fork, as well as a serrated edge that you could use as a knife. So basically, all you could possibly need for dining utensils. Uh, it feels actually pretty good quality. Bends a little bit, but it would probably get the job done. Yeah, everybody needs something to eat with, so I think that's the first thing besides your hands we would be able to use to eat. What else do we have? All right, we're down to our final few items. We've got quite the collection here, and one thing I'm noticing, survival gear items, Items do such a good job of using space. Look at all of this stuff that we have here. I would say there's not much more you would need. You could easily keep all of this in a small backpack, like really, really easily. But let's take a look at our second last item. But I wanna know from you guys, of all of these items, what would you want the most if you could only have one and you were stuck in the middle of a forest or an island and you had to survive? Uh, okay, this is, what is it? A sleeping, this is a sleeping case? Look how tiny this is. This is supposed to be a sleeping case. All weather emergency bag. As you guys know, favorite color is orange. Some Denver Bronco vibes. Let's take a look. It's got the reflective inside. Oh my God. This is legit. Take in how small that thing was four seconds ago. And now it's a full-fledged sleeping bag. Yo, it's warm in here. 
Okay, honestly, that's insane. I was not expecting it to be that, I don't know, like it's super thin, so I didn't think it would actually keep you warm. Not sure it would work in the Arctic, but you know, a cold day in the middle of the uh, the forest or something like that would probably suffice. I, I mean, I'm not gonna uh, find out, just speculating. Should I do that? Oh, I'm really, 50,000 likes, I'll take all of these items and I'll try and survive in the middle of the forest for 24 hours. I'm regretting even giving you guys the option right now. Maybe I could do it. We got a whole bunch of different things that we could test out, but we've got one last item to unbox and check out. Oh my God. Okay, so this is again, a Swiss army knife type item, but we got a Swiss army spoon, bam. I've never seen a Swiss army knife like this. A Swiss army knife fork. So you got both sides, kind of like this other item. Which would you prefer? I think this is actually a pretty big vibe. And of course, we've got the knife. The whole thing just fell apart. Maybe not the sturdiest item, but yeah, there's the knife, little corkscrew, bottle opener. So it's got mostly just like utensils you would use for eating. Overall, very interesting, but it pretty much fell apart as soon as I started opening it up. So I don't know how durable this would be. And if you're getting survival gear, above all else, you probably want it to be durable. But with that being said, let's take a closer look at everything we got today. Quite the haul, if I do say so myself. If I were to pick an item from all of these, what would it be? That's a tough one. I don't know. I, I'm really curious. You guys let me know. I'm thinking maybe the uh, 29 in one paracord because it had so many different little items inside it. I mean, above all else, you want something you could use to start a fire. That is a major major, major key. But like I said before, if you could only have one item from this unboxing, let me know which one you would pick. I don't know about you guys, but I feel very minorly more prepared. Still not quite prepared for the upcoming apocalypse, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you are new, continue please to stay safe at home. Hopefully this will be done sooner rather than later and none of this will be needed. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles. Didn't really block the screen, but yeah, anyways.